Hello and welcome back to my channel, you lovely, lovely people. So today I'm doing the McDonald's Christmas menu mukbang. I'm literally buzzing. I've done this last year and I'm going to make it a yearly tradition. And this year I actually ordered everything of the Christmas menu. Last year I just ordered what I would like. But this year I thought I'd go all out and get everything. So this year they have bought out, what they bought out last year as well, the jerk chicken Jamaican burger. I can already clarify this is unreal, I had this last year. It's basically two chicken selects, cheese, jerk chicken relish, onions, lettuce. I think it's actually pepper jack cheese. It also comes with bacon but I'm not really a fan of bacon so good at that bacon and again like last year they always bring out the cheese melt dishes which look like this these are really really nice they've just got like pure cheese inside and with the cheese melt dippers you get a tangy tomato dip they've also bought this out which they've never actually done before so this is quite exciting a double big mac it has four burgers in like this is literally the biggest burger i've ever seen I've never even tried a Big Mac, let alone a double Big Mac. So I can't wait to try this. Look how big that is. That is literally the size of my head. Oh my God. That is literally not even going to fit in my mouth for one bite, but I'm excited. And then I also got some fries because you can't go to McDonald's and not get fries. I also got an Oasis because an Oasis is the best McDonald's drink ever. And then I also got a milkshake because i thought you know what i'm gonna go all out today the most exciting thing about this whole mcdonald's order is that this year they have bought out a celebrations mcflurry like i literally sound like i'm doing a mcdonald's ad right now if you can see that it's got all celebrations chocolates inside so i believe it has like crunchy dairy milk toffee what else have we got in here caramel looks like honeycomb so yeah i got a little mini one because i thought definitely cannot eat a big one with all this food surrounding me i called up to ask if he can put sauce in the order and he was like what's your order number and i was like um i can't see it because it wouldn't come up on my laptop and he was like okay i'll put dip in every order and i was thinking you're definitely not going to do that you know and you could just tell someone's not actually going to do it so i found the order number i called back gave him the order number i said can you do it he said yeah sure and he didn't so i've got one sweet and sour dip for all this food so thank you to that man for lying to me this is literally like two or three meals but yeah i'm excited this is like a feast cleanse the palette with some oasis honestly if you've not tried oasis from mcdonald's you need to i feel like it's actually better than like the oasis in the shop okay let's go in with a cheese milk dipper and this tangy sauce this is exact same as last year wow that's so good it's like pure cheese inside this sauce is actually really nice as well have a little bit of fries why not okay i'm gonna try the big mac first because i'm just so excited to try these this is literally insane here we go <laughs> i'm literally not even gonna be able to fit this in my mouth never had a big mac before it tastes different oh it's that big mac sauce i think it's got that gherkins and stuff in it's very gherkiny mm. so good though how many calories is in this 694 calories jesus that is insane i really want to position the camera where you can see all the food so i might try can you see no there we go let me bring the camera down a little bit. Okay, this is cute. It's a cute little setup. I feel like a proper mukbanger. I actually think when this is uploaded, this will be like my third food video in a row. Like, I'm literally turning into a food channel. Might have just spilled a bit about my sister Sophie. Sorry, Sophie, if you're watching. Let's try the Jamaican jerk chicken burger, which I already know I'm going to love. It looks so good. I really want to do like a Q&A soon or like... A girl talk or boy talk because i want to start doing like more interactive videos when i sit down to film a video like this like i'm like what do i actually say like what do i actually talk about like my mind goes blank i really want to do like a q a soon or like 
a girl talk or a boy talk i love boy talk so much me and megan did one i think it was like two months ago and i had so much fun doing that so please let me know if you're interested in like a girl talk or a boy talk or a q a or anything really if anyone has any ideas then please do let me know down below what you'd like to see if that is something you'd be interested in but if i do that i'll be asking my questions over on my instagram story so please make sure you're following my instagram it is emx sa um same as my youtube handle and yeah i'll put it on my instagram story i think i'll be doing it i'm gonna film it this weekend so by the time this video is up i'll be putting it on my story like a few days after so yeah please make sure you're following my instagram if you do have like an assumption or a girl talk or anything like that so like whatever video i do in the end but yeah how is lockdown going for everyone um i think we're in like i think it's week two now this is the third weekend how are we all feeling how are you all coping this is so hard to eat and talk at the same time like i keep checking my phone like have i got food around my mouth but it's just too good not to eat yeah personally i think this lockdown is going like touch word quick <laughs> has gone so much better than last time like i think it's this time around we knew what was coming we could kind of like prepare ourselves a bit more and like put um plans in action to like help you know but i just want to say please know that if you are struggling or anything like that that my dms and comments are always open if you need someone to talk to because personally i know it actually does help talking to someone who's like not in your close circle not in your friends or your family i don't know what it is but talking to just like a stranger like an outsider is easier it's really weird but yeah i just wanted to quickly include that in case anyone is going through it you know i'm just gonna try the mcflurry now which is quite a random time because i'm still eating but i feel like it's melting fast so let's try this oh my god it's toffee i really don't like toffee i mean it's nice but i wish it had like some chocolate sauce or something in it it's just literally ice cream with like little chocolate chunks i mean i can see what the idea was but i'm not really getting like celebration vibes i've actually been waiting to film like a sit down video because i really wanted to talk about my bedroom if anyone is into like interior design or like renovations or anything like that i personally love all that stuff and like mrs hinch like when she was doing her house up or anyone at work when they're talking about like doing their houses up i love it like it just makes me excited for one day when i have my own place and i get to decorate like everything exactly how i want it and my priorities were like two months ago save 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 and i'm not gonna lie when i was feeling quite low and stuff i just thought you know what my bedroom i always say this but when you live at home your bedroom is basically your living room your kitchen just everything like that is your like safe space it's where you chill all the time like i know some people make their dinner then eat up there if you live with your parents then you might know obviously every family is different but like in the evening time typically the parents are watching tv downstairs and the kids are upstairs so yeah i basically just decided literally one morning i was like i hate my room and i just woke up and i was like i hate it like you know you just don't feel content and happy and it's like maybe this is why because i hate my room like, i don't feel comfortable in it like it's not as cozy as i want it so i'm literally changing my whole room up and so excited let me have another dip up so obviously at the moment my room is all gray and i've basically just decided that i don't like the color gray anymore like when i was like planning a mood board for my future house or whatever or, like when you think of moving out i pictured everything gray and like fake marble tiles but now i just don't like gray at all so i've decided i'm going to do white paneling on the walls which is actually really easy to do which was interesting to learn it's basically just arc i think it's called architrave it's just like basically long thin bits of wood kind of like what you get going round your house but thinner and basically you just stick that to the wall with no more nails glue and you have panelings so we've worked it all out i'll show you a picture in case people don't know what i mean because to be honest i didn't really know until i researched um ignore the word going across it because i literally just got this one from google so you may not be able to see because the ring light but you basically get the gist i'm going to do that round the walls and all the walls are going to be white and i've bought like huge black continental pillows for my bed i'm going to get a black fro i've got like a white waffle duvet set and i'm going to get rid of the mirrors on my walls because i don't like them anymore because at the moment i have a mirror on each wall now i'm all about preaching self-love but a mirror on each wall when i think about it is very unnecessary bearing in mind my room is isn't the biggest the fact i've got a mirror on each wall is just too much and i want a lot of plants in it as well because i'm obsessed 
with plants at the moment i just love it like it really brings the room alive and like makes the house a home i feel like so i want a lot of plants and i'm also changing the blinds and the floor and painting the door so i know this might sound really crazy and over the top because i do want to move out in like the next three years and this might seem a waste of money and to be honest it probably is a waste of money but just because I film in my room all the time and because I am in my room like a lot of the time, I just want to make it more me and I just feel like I've outgrown the grey. I'm just ready for some colour. So I'm changing the blinds, I'm getting white blinds, I'm changing the floor in, I'm putting like a dark wood floor down. So basically the vibe of the room is going to be dark wood floor, white blinds, white walls, I'm going to paint the door black. And then I have like black accents all around the room. And yeah, I'm hoping it'll be finished in the next three weeks. So I'm definitely going to film it all. And I'll hopefully, fingers crossed, have like a huge room makeover room video. Like save all the footage for that. But obviously if I do vlogs and stuff, you'll see. But yeah, I'm literally so excited to like make it over and have like a fresh start. You know, fresh vibes, ready for 2021. 2021 is going to be a good year. And yeah, just ready for a change and just like some fresh scenery you know i'm just i'm really excited for like the white and the black but i'm not gonna lie i'm literally stuffed and i feel like i haven't eaten anything there's so many flavors right now going on in my mouth it's a lot going on i've been watching this really good series on sky as well if anyone has sky i'm gonna have a bit of the milkshake while we chat about this and i've only got one straw so probably gonna taste of oasis but you know what we move yeah it's this series called the undoing if you watched big little liars which again i think was only on sky but that was so good it had reese over spoon nicole kidman i can't remember her name it's gone from my head but this young brunette girl who's been in loads of stuff the same producer of that and it's also got nicole kidman in this one and hugh grant plays her husband and honestly it's so good i'm hooked i think there's been four episodes out so far but it's so good it's basically like a rich couple in new york and there's like an affair and then the murder and an obsession there's like so many twists and turns but the way it's done is so good and literally series is like that is a bit of me i really want netflix to like bring out some christmas films i know netflix are bringing out is it a christmas princess 2 with vanessa hudgens which i can't wait for because i do love a christmas netflix film can they hurry up because i want to get in the christmas spirit but yeah i'm gonna end this video here now i literally feel so stuffed and i literally just want to have a nap on this sofa and call it a day to be honest because I've literally ate so much junk and greasy food that I feel like I need a nap to recover. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!